Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons and in this lesson we're going to be learning the verse to In the Garden. Next week we will be finishing with the chorus. Before we start I want to thank my patrons. It is because of the patrons that these lessons are free of charge, uh, that they are available to everyone. So I want to thank them first and foremost. These lessons would not be available without their help. I also want to uh, thank those who are participating in this program. Uh, I hope these lessons are a blessing to you, especially the hymns, and I hope in turn that you can turn around and bless someone else with them. So we're going to start and we're going to go through these chords and give you some options of, of embellishment here. We're going to start on the left side of our treble bridge on this D. If you're in the G box, it's five. So you're going to strike that note with your left hand and you're going to do a lead in a little triplet so your left hand's going to hit the D your right hand's going to hit the F sharp and your left hand is going to come up and catch this D again I'm also bouncing you don't have to it's sort of natural for me to do it then your left hand is going to come over and it's going to catch this B and I'm using my right hand to hit this D just as a grace note. It can be very soft. Up to C and then up to D here. You could catch the D here. I'm catching it here because our next note is going to be this G. Sorry. Then you're going to go up to A, and then we're going to lead up to this B and fill that in. So let's play it from the beginning. So you should have that much memorized before we go any farther. Make sure you use that pause button whenever you need to, even if I don't remind you if you feel frustrated make sure you stop so we're going to lead up to this this B and the way we're going to do that is our left hand is going to catch the B on the right side of the treble bridge or in the G box three your right hand is going to catch this D just like we did down here same exact move so B D B and I'm letting it bounce And then I'm going to come back down the same way. So we're going up and our right hand's going to catch that D, our left hand's catching the B, and then I'm going over and I'm catching this G. So from the beginning, And let's do a couple things here. Let's do that again. So you could either do the lead up and come back down. And then you're going to hit that B again. Or you could do a run up like this. So instead of going down, we do the we do the run up either way. Instead of coming back down, you can do the run up, go over to the G. So you have that choice. Let me play them both for you. Or Either one or both. Uh, when you play the song through another time, you might want to switch it. So from the beginning. So 
So you're going to hit that B again. A, G. So, from the beginning, I think it helps. Okay, then you're dropping down. A, G, and then we're going to do another chord, down. So you're playing this G, B, G, D, back to G. Notice that the melody note is louder. From the beginning. And you should be able to play up to that part one more time. Sorry. Then up to A, or, so what you're playing there is B, or I'm sorry, A, G, and then you're playing this E. From the beginning. So you should have that much memorized one more time. Then you're going to go back up to G and we're going to do an arpeggio down. So you're going to hit that G. G, B, G, over to this D, to the B, to the G. Left, right, left, right, left, right. G, B, G, D, B, G. So let's put that all in, in from the beginning. And then you're coming back to this D. And that sort of ends that phrase. So again. So you're just filling that in there, hitting that twice. And then you're going to go up to this F sharp, G, so from the beginning before we get into that next chord. Play that F sharp, G, then A. And here's what you're playing there. You're playing this A, C, A, E. which I think is a very pretty chord when we put that in here. So from the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
I did another lead in there. And you could even, you could actually fill that in there as well. So let's, let's do that. Uh, what I played there was the D, the F sharp, the D, and the A. So let's try that. So we just included that as well. Here, let's do it again. Make sure all that is memorized. You can see there's a lot in here. And this is, we already played this, but you're playing this um, A, C, A, E. Going back to the A. Same thing as we did here. Except for now, we're playing this F sharp, A, F sharp, D. So from the beginning, sorry, keep doing that. Again, so we're climbing up, we're catching this G, B, G, D, then up to A, and then we're going to do another run up to this B. Catching this G, F sharp, I'm sorry, this B, sorry, B, D, and then back up to that B. So from the beginning. One more time. I'm going to try to really slow this down. We're already playing it slow, but let's let's try to get it slower. Make sure that's memorized. Then you're going to play this A and same little rundown A, C, A. And then back up and then up to this B, A. So let's just do that much. So one more time. Sorry about that. Ignore that. Um, Back of the G, F sharp. 
So you're going to play F sharp, A, F sharp, D. Back to the G. We could, we could do a run up there. And that, that is the end of the verse. So let's play that all the way through from the very beginning. And again, that was a little bit different. Let's try it again. And and by the way, it was right. I just did a little things a little different there. So I've given you some ideas there. Work on that, and then uh, next week we will finish this hymn. <clears throat> this hymn, uh, it's a very popular hymn. A lot of a lot of people. This is their favorite hymn, and I wanted to make sure that I covered this. So I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you next week. Try to get this part down first, and uh, thank you again for watching.